Hi everyone, this is Zen Honeycutt, founder of Moms Across America. And a friend of mine asked me just to break it down real easy, what is a GMO? So I'm gonna do that. I'm not a doctor or a scientist, but I'm a mom that has read a lot of books over the past year and done a lot of research and watched a lot of movies. Uh, my favorite being uh, Genetic Roulette, and it's really easy to get that online. But I'm gonna break it down in a few minutes. A GMO is a genetically modified organism. And that means that the DNA of one species is injected into the DNA of a completely unrelated species. And that means that this would never happen in nature. It's not hybridization. Um, it's not like a plum and a peach. It's two totally unrelated species. And they do this in a laboratory and grow the, um, create the seed. And then the seed, you know, it's in the entire plant. It's in every single cell of this plant and then this plant produces more seeds which they then sell that are genetically modified so it comes from the seed they're not injecting the seed that's in the grocery market okay it comes from a lab and it's then cultivated uh, that way so there's three kinds of gmos the first one is bt uh, corn right now is a is bt is stands for a symbol of a, a kind of toxin which is in the soil uh, normally but they've genetically engineered it to reproduce continuously more toxins. And so that explodes the stomach of the bug that eats it. So we are then eating corn that's registered as in, with the EPA as a registered pesticide. And it, it explodes the stomach of the bug that eats it. And they originally claimed that that would not harm human stomachs because our stomachs are different. But studies have shown otherwise, that it does harm the bacteria in our stomach, which is um, important for our immune system. So the first one is where the, the first GMO is where the, the food is an actual registered pesticide. Okay, the second type of GMO is called Roundup Ready. And those are commonly uh, soy, uh, uh, cotton seed, canola, um, some types of corn are also Roundup Ready, um, zucchini squash, and uh, Hawaiian papaya. They're, they're engineered to be able to withstand an herbicide being sprayed on the plant. It kills everything else around it, but it doesn't kill our seed crop. So the problem with this is that we are not engineered to withstand Roundup. And what Roundup has is a chemical called glyphosate in it, which actually destroys the immune system of the plant. One scientist, Dr. Huber, said it gives it, essentially gives the plant AIDS. It strips it of its vital nutrients, um, able to fight off bacteria, and then the plant dies because of the normally harmless bacteria in the soil. So if you think about it, we're eating food which is doused in a chemical which weakens our immune system. And furthermore, it's been shown to destroy the beneficial gut bacteria in our stomach, which um, contributes to getting allergies and also our inability to create tryptophan. Tryptophan um, means that we can create serotonin and melatonin and guarin, these are things that are all necessary to prevent diabetes, um, di depression, bipolar, obesity, um, all kinds of violent behavior even. Uh, so these, these hormones are very, very important and we cannot create them anywhere else in our body. And glyphosate destroys our body's ability to be able to do that or impairs it at least. Glyphosate also um, affects our liver the ability to be, able to be able to detox, and this can lead to cancer and also heart disease. And the third way that glyphosate impacts our body is that it breaks down the blood-brain barrier, and this impacts um, our children's brains. Um, it could impact Alzheimer's and autism. So the first GMO has the pesticide in the food. The second GMO has the pesticide on the food, and it's genetically engineered to withstand it. And the third GMO is one that does not involve pesticides, but it does have a foreign protein in it, and it has promoters to wake that foreign protein up. And it makes, you know, like the tomato redder or the celery crisper or the lettuce stays greener longer. And that may seem very harmless, but in fact, with these promoters inside of our food, as a mom, I am concerned that a promoter that's engineered to wake up genes might in fact wake up genes that are in our children's bodies that might be normally latent genetic um, dispositions to have certain rare diseases. Um, I would be very concerned about that and there's been no studies about that at all. 
So the, those are the three types of GMOs. One where the food actually is a pesticide, one where it's, it's genetically engineered to withstand a pesticide, and one where they are genetically engineered to have certain characteristics, and they have promoters in them that wake genes up. And that's my understanding. Um, the reason why they have GMOs is because they want to make farming more convenient for farmers, and that's actually been proved to be not true. They have to now um, use more pesticides because the weeds are developing resistance, and the bugs are developing resistance, um, and the crops are not yielding greater yield. And, um, and the most important thing is that we do not believe that they are healthy for our children. They have been linked to autism, allergies, autoimmune diseases, asthma, obesity, diabetes, uh, and many, many other uh, modern diseases. And we just don't believe that they are healthy for our children or family. And in fact, we have seen our kids get better when they get off GMOs. We had one mom who just said, you know, my just son went, just went to high school and his new teachers can't even tell that he used to be severely autistic. And all I've done is had him go um, all organic with his food. And this is a single mom that makes 40000 a year, and her commitment is her son is organic, and his life is forever changed. So, um, mom, just want you to know about GMOs. Please look into them. Our kids get better when they get off GMOs. We have hundreds of testimonials, and it's time that we find out about this foreign protein that is doused in chemicals that's in 80% of our food, our processed food, unless you're eating organic. So thank you very much from Monte Cross America.